Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my oops, I'm the my custom kit from Tarte. I got this less than 24 hours after I placed my order. I mean, less than 48 hours after I placed my order. I think living in the same exact state as Tarte's headquarters kind of has to play with that. However, my box was shipped from New Jersey, which is not that far away either. I think it's about two and a half hours at most to get to the New Jersey border. Depending on traffic, driving when it and it works better. But I have my kit here. I've already reboxed everything. Just regular traditional tart box here. My phone going off. There you go. So the kit was you got seven items, seven items. For $63, I have everything, actually I pulled my invoice out to be able to show you guys because I was an impatient person and I already had opened up my box. Let's see if that works actually. What is going on my computer? That is really weird. I might have spilled a little something on my computer when I was just doing it and somehow I managed to crack my keypad. Which I have no idea how you can even do that on a MacBook Pro, that's like impossible. But I actually received mine as I was actually getting ready to head out to the hospital to be honest. I had surgery on my foot about two and a half weeks ago Friday the 20 on um, June 6th today is June 23rd so it's been about two and a half weeks I should be getting this boot off of my foot on Friday I hope I get it off on Friday it has been torture I have orange feet right now because I self tanned well the tan itself is great for me it was not the best because of the fact that I might have used it three times in less than 24 hours, so you know. But let's get into the box. For me, this kit cost me $68.04 because I live in New York and we have an 8% sales tax. You had to pick from seven different categories. So you had foundation, face, eyes, mascara, lips, body and brushes, and a kit bag. So let's go ahead on into this. So it says, hello, Tuck. Keep dropping this card every single time. It says, Hello, Tartlet. Why choose between beauty that works and beauty that's healthy? Rethink natural. So they have the card right here, which is a little wet because I just, whatever, I just spilled, when I spilled on my computer, I also spilled on the card because this was, it was on top of the card. So it comes in a really pretty purple tissue paper. And this says, Tart, friends don't let friends miss out on makeup. And it says, Refer a friend at tart.com backslash refer and get a special offer. And mine's a little bit, you can see it's actually wet right here is where it's actually wet and over here. Right here is actually dry so <laughs> might have been a wine glass. <laughs> so that's the cute card. I actually do hang these up. I think this one's really cute so I am going to hang this one up. I have the one for my first ever tart order which is, it's actually hanging up right over there so I can actually see it. And it says be your own kind of beautiful and it has tart right here and it's all purple with like gold writing. And I think that's really cute so I've always hung that one up. I always like that one. And that's my first heart order. So we're going to go ahead and I have honestly repackaged this, unpackaged it, repackaged it, unpackaged it. I was filming the video and then something happened. So mine looks like this. I actually redeemed some points here. So I redeemed, I think it was 600 points for this. Is there 600 or 800 points? And it says, Tart, let's flamingue. So it's a nice cute little tote bag. I don't really shop on Tart that often. So I was like, I'm placing an order. Let me redeem some points. So I redeemed some points for this cute tote bag. I also redeemed some points. And this tote bag is actually valued at $12. I just looked it up and it was on their website. And so I checked it out. So that's why I think this was 600 points. I didn't check out the points though. And this I believe was 800 points. And I believe this is over $15. It says perk up and pretty. And I just feel myself. So it's a cute little cup cute little mug. I'm not going to use this for coffee or anything or tea. I don't really drink coffee often. Because it is not microwaveable safe. It says do not microwave hand wash only. I'm lazy. I put stuff in the dishwasher and in the microwave. So this would be more like for brushes. Maybe some of my higher end brushes I put in here because it is a tart cup. So that is super cute. I'm going to put that right there and hope I don't break it. So we got my kit right here ready to go. I also got, before we get into my kit, I also got a foil packet. And this is the Sugar Rush Tarte Squeaky Clean Face Wash. Just a little packet. I actually have a little container of this, to be honest. I actually bought it. And let's go ahead and get right on into it. So the first category we have here is foundation. 
So, and I have obviously everything ready, screenshotted, ready to go. I'm going to find it. So you could have gotten either the Shape Tape Foundation and Hydrating or Matte, the Water Foundation, the Stick Foundation, the or the Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation. Oh, I just lost my page. I, however, once I find it, because I want to get on to the next one, I picked up the Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I wanted to try this before in the past. I've got a sample from Sephora like years ago. And I didn't buy this because I was cheap, so I bought the Aqua Concealer instead to like totally use that as foundation. Well, I finally picked this up. This is worth $39. Holy so look at all their foundation at $39, so why not? So this is, I picked mine up in the shade, why am I even looking at it? Light Neutral. I always buy the same shade, no matter what it is. Except for when it comes to the concealer. I, I have a hard time with the concealer. So I picked up the shade Light Neutral. I wish it didn't have this applicator. I wish I had like the other ones, like the um the older ones where you just squeeze down. Actually, do I happen to have Maracuja oil? No, I don't have it up there. It's like the Maracuja oil one, so they're probably changing that up too, which I don't really like. Um, if they would. So I picked this up. I'm not going to open this up until I get through my Amazonian clay one that I'm almost done with. I have one that's like on its last limb that I've had both of them a pretty long time. They actually don't even make the shade of the original one I bought, so that's why I don't want to use it up. And I'm like, I just need to use it up. And then I'm probably going to open this up when I get through both of those Amazonian clay ones because I alternate sometimes for some odd reason. So I picked this up, and I don't know if I said it, it was $38, $39 right there. The next category that they had was face. So you could have gotten the blush, the Hamptons Weekend or Contour Palette, the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer, which I actually own in a shade lighter than I should, but actually looks pretty good on my face. Or the Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. You could have gotten a 12 hour highlighter, which I actually got a last time, I didn't like it. The Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder, which I have and I don't like. The Filtered Light Setting Powder, which I've never tried, I almost did get that. I did not get that though. Or the Twinkle Stick Highlighter, you could have gotten as well. I got a blush. So I picked up the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Captivating. It's like this orangey shade. I'm not going to swatch it even I kind of want to, but I want to see if this looks like my favorite blush. I don't think it does. So, it just looks like this. It has a little mirror right here, and I really love the um the shade Harmony. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what it's similar to, so I thought maybe this would be it because it's right of the kit. So, I'm like, eh, whatever. And this is valued at $29. Yeah. I'm happy, though, because I wanted that. The next category we have is eyes. So you have, you could choose from the Lights Camera Lashes, um, Liquid Eyeliner, a Metallic Eyeshadow, the Art, Art, Architect Brow Pencil and Gel, or these are more, there's more, the Clay Pot Waterproof Shadow Liner, the Sexy Kitten Eyeliner, or some lashes. You could have picked up the Cruelty Free Lashes, or the Limited Edition ones in LCL, the Waterproof Clay Eyeliner, which is like a different, it's more clear shadows, the Clay Pot Waterproof Shadow Liner, oh, it was quite a few, and I picked up the, that was not it, the Art architect one and it's just like a normal I guess a natural shade I don't even know I'm not even gonna open this up because it's only got six months and I already have the busy the WDB ones but you have a gel on one side and a pencil on the other so and it has like that weird tip like that like the brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills but I'm not gonna open up the other side because it is a six month like stand on it and I honestly have so many brow products it's weird I guess I actually have started to clear into mine but I picked this up. This was worth. Oh, look, they actually put them in order for me. This is worth $24, so that's pretty good. The next one that you could have gotten was mascara. So you could have gotten the. I should have grabbed like all of them because I have all of them. <laughs> that they were offering because they only offered like a few different ones. So you could have gotten the lights, camera lashes, the man eater 
uh, limited edition man eater, so it's purple instead of like black. I pink instead of black. The gifted mascara, the light camera flashes statement mascara says so that the light camera lashes on, but it's in a gold container. The waterproof light camera lashes, the limited edition fairy the fair limited edition fairy lights camera lashes. Oh my god, that's so many. The opening act lash primer, the Targetist lash paint mascara. And I picked up one that I don't have in a full size. I have the Lights Camera Lashes, the fairy one. Still in the box. It's actually over there. Unopened, because I don't really like the mascara. And I'm like, I don't know which I want. The Man Eater and the Lash Paint, my Holy Grails. Well, I was like, alright, I have almost all the tart masks, and I have a little version of the gifted one. So I was like, alright, let me go through and figure out which one I wanted so I could pair the Lights Camera Lashes. Not was I don't even like that one. The Man Eater with the Gifted. I did one on each eye and I was like, which one looks better? And I picked the Gifted one because that one looked so good on my eyes. It lifted them up, curled them and lifted, whereas the Man Eater just like lifted. It looked weird. So I picked up the Gifted Mascara in the shade Black because apparently I think they do this one in brown too. So I own a full size of this. I'm not going to open it up because I have quite a few mini ones of this. And I have already a ton of mascaras opened up. I could just get off the butt and grab the other ones. So this is what it looks like right here. It's just like a metal, like a fox metal one. I'm actually going to grab the one I already have open, which is right behind my computer. So hold on a second, guys. You not be so lazy for once in my life. Ooh. That's not the right one. So here we go. I have the mini version right here, so you guys can just see the wand. So that is the wand right there. I normally don't go for these bristle wands like this. And let me go back for my kit one. But I really like this one. I mean, it gives such a nice boost that I was like, oh, I'm going to get this one. So I picked that one up. The And that was $23 for that. So that's not too, too bad. The next item was the lips. So you could have gotten the Color Splash Hydrating, Hydrating Lip Gloss Lipstick, which is in the Rainforest of the Sea Computer. Do I have one around? I know I have one around yesterday. No, I don't know where I put it. A Lip Crayon. The Glossy Lip Paint. The Color Splash Shade Shifting Lipstick, which I actually was the one I'm talking about right now. A Creamy Matte Lip Paint. The Color Splash Lipstick. The Cream Matte Lip Paint in Naughty Nudes. The Limited Edition Tardis Quick Dry Lip Paint, which was either in Exposed or some purpley color, pink, uh, bluish color. And it goes with the Make Believe in Yourself collection. You could have gotten the Lip Architect Lipstick and Liner. So those are all the ones you could have gotten. I picked up something that I don't even know why I picked it up. But I picked up the Tardis Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Double Tap. And I haven't actually tried this on yet. So it's a really pretty color. It looks like a really pretty mommy shade. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that. I open it. I have not opened it. Okay, that is really pretty. I wasn't expecting to look that pretty. I feel like I might have actually put this one on. So that's what that looks like right there. Super pretty, honestly. And this is twenty dollars right here. The next, kit, the next section you could have gotten was the body and brushes. You could have gotten the limited edition Blot Party on the Go mattifiers, the color correcting brush, and this one changed as I was shopping as well too. So they had the color clay liquid foundation brush, the dry shampoo, a deodorant, a mermaid wave spray, and these were added later on as I was shopping. And so this is when I screenshotted it. The uh, Rainforest of the Sea Highlighting Fan Brush, the Mermaid Eyeshadow Brush. I know that you got it was the Ready Set Radiant Setting Spray, which I really wanted, but when I went to go actually check out, it was gone. It was missing. Or you could have gotten what I actually picked up, and it was the Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. That is what I picked up there. This is worth $32. I honestly debated on getting this or getting the brush. 
this brush here because this brush, which I don't like, I'm never going to use it, but it was totally worth the value, was the Color Clay Liquid Foundation Brush. If I can get my, you know, I forgot, I always got to turn on my brightness when I go to do this. It looks like, let me go down even further. Looks like that, and this is $63 alone, so I was like, oh, that's like the best deal, but I picked up this because I figured I would use this more. I'm, the dry shampoo was not a good deal for me. I'm not going to use the blotting ones. I'm not going to use half the other brushes that they offered. And I'm picky about my deodorant, so I'm not going to pick up the deodorant. And I almost did get the Mermaid Wave Salt Spray. That was before they did add this into it. So I picked up this instead. And actually, not at all ordered this. Tart sent me two. <laughs> by accident. I have yet to contact them. I probably won't. A lot of people told me don't contact them, but... I might actually give this away to somebody. I might save it for a future giveaway. Who knows? These are probably going to be good for a while. These are good for six months. So we will see. I have a cousin who's getting ready to start middle school soon. So I want to make her like her own little essential makeup bag type thing. That she could like hide in her book bag from her father. Because he doesn't want her to wear makeup. Obviously I'm going to try to apply makeup too. Which you can tell I don't wear any right now. Even though I own a container. Like I'm literally... My computer's sitting on top of my palettes. So we know. That's how many palettes I own. So they did send me two of these, so that's pretty good. I mean, I'll try them out, see if I like them, and go from there. And the last item I got was the makeup bag. So you could have picked out between this one, a black one, a pink tassel one, or if it's actually in these drawer organizers, I can pull it out. It is in here. Or you could have gotten this one. This one's from my last kit, so I just happen to have this nearby. So, you can tell I, I love Tarte. I have actually, um, somewhere... Oh, look, I have another Tarte one. Oh, and another Tarte one. And in another box down the bin below that one, I have another Tarte one. I'm going two more. So, that is everything I received in my kit. The total cost of everything that I actually would have paid for not including the second one of these is $182. The kit is valued at approximately $200. So I don't know if that's why they added another one another one of those in there. If it just happened to be a mess up or something. I don't know. Um, let me see. So my kit value is $114. And then you have the rewards things, which was um, another $27. So my, if I would have paid for everything out front, it would have been $241, which is not too bad. i rather pay the $63. So that is everything I got in my kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.